Hey everyone, I'm Mario Goichai, owner and chef of Mr. G's Chop House in Shelby Township. We're located at 56129 Van Dyke, between 25 and 26 Mile on the west side of the road. Today on Cooking with Mario, we're going to be making an herb roasted chicken with a garlic whipped potato. Let's get cooking. We have a four and a half pound chicken. We have some diced up Idaho potatoes, peeled and diced. We have some fresh butter, unsalted. We have some fresh herbs here, uh, rosemary and thyme. We also have some dried up herbs that we chopped up. We have some thyme, rosemary, uh, parsley, fresh chopped up garlic, milk for our mashed potatoes, a little bit of white pepper. And then we also have some uh, bay leaf, onion, and garlic powder. To start your roasted chicken, we have a chicken here that was rinsed off and then dried with some paper towel. Next, we're gonna pour some oil on this. So that way all of the herbs and stuff are gonna stick to the chicken itself. And we're gonna give it a nice massage. After this is all nice and seasoned up, we're gonna pop it in the fridge for a few hours. That's really the best way to do this. You wanna let all of these herbs and flavors really infuse and get into the meat. So we have a little bit of onion powder here. We have garlic powder. We have a bunch of herbs. That's really where you're gonna get all this flavor from. So, you know, I'm not really taking exact measurements. It's more so you just kind of want to coat everything with a nice light dusting of all the different herbs that we have here. So we're working with oregano, we're working with thyme, we have a little bit of fresh basil, um, we have a little bit of bay leaves here that we're actually going to put into the cavity. So we're going to pop a couple of these into the cavity here. We're going to do the same thing with a nice fresh lemon. This is not something that you're going to eat, we're just basically putting this in here because we want to just infuse this bird with as much possible aroma and flavors that, that we can get out of it. So we're really going to stuff it in there. So now you got some fresh lemon, you got your herbs. I'm going to take a little bit of chopped up garlic, throw it in there as well. Okay, this is going to smell and taste amazing most importantly. A little bit of white pepper on here too. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more oil and we're going to massage. You gotta get that into all the little nooks and crannies here, okay? Don't be shy. The bird's gonna thank you for it later. So here we go. Flip it over. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All sides of your food gotta taste good, right? So here we go. One more time. Garlic, onion, oregano, thyme. This is really good for meal prep. We have, uh, we have a nice little wait time here because you really want to let this thing hang out in the fridge for a little while. Um, and then you're going to get it into a pre preheated oven. And the way that you cook this chicken is it's going to be uh, 450 for the first 15 minutes so it can kind of start to get a little bit of color on the outside, get a little bit of caramelization. Um, after that, you know, we're going to turn it down to about 350 and then it's going to go for roughly 20 minutes per pound afterwards. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna pop it in the fridge, we're gonna let this thing hang out for a few hours, we got another bird cooking, we're gonna pull that out soon. So that chicken's in the oven cooking, it's smelling up the whole house with all the aromas, it smells beautiful, your neighbors are gonna be knocking on the door again. Next we're gonna get into the mashed potatoes, okay? So we had those cubed up potatoes, they've been cooking for about 12 minutes now, boiling over here, they're nice and soft and tender, so what we're going to do, we're going to strain it off, okay? We're going to get all the water out of this pan. We're going to strain these potatoes here. You can see that they're tender. Once all that water is gone, we're going to go back into this pan. Okay? We're going to let those potatoes kind of just dry off. In the meantime, we're going to heat up some milk. You don't want to bring it up to a boil, just barely a simmer. A little bit of milk, a little bit of butter, a little bit of that fresh garlic. We're going to let that cook out a little bit. Okay? So I'm going to start off with butter here. A little bit of butter. A little bit of this garlic. I'm going to move this over here.
All right. So we're sweating this garlic out. Want to cook it until it's kind of tender and translucent. That smells amazing. It's going to give a really nice flavor to your mashed potatoes. Now remember, you do want to cook it out all the way. You want to make sure that your garlic's really soft because you don't want to bite into your nice creamy mashed potatoes and have a, a hard chunk of garlic in there. So we're going to let this cook out for a couple seconds here. Make sure it's nice and soft. You're not really looking to get color on it. You just want to get it nice and translucent so when you're smashing it, the garlic kind of smashes and it just becomes, you know, almost just disappears into the mashed potatoes. So this is looking really nice. Next step, we're going to add our milk, okay? We're just going to take this milk, we're going to pop it in here. We're going to let that all cook together. As soon as the milk is nice and hot, we're going to add these potatoes now. So the reason I like these potatoes to dry out is because we took the moisture out of it. We're going to have more concentrated potato flavor, okay? So now we're going to go in with our potatoes. And I like to use a little bit of butter. So for about a pound of potato, I like to use a half a pound of butter. Um, it might sound like a lot, but by the time that we whisk it up real nice, you're going to see how nice and rich and buttery and delicious that this comes out, okay? So I'm just mashing my potatoes over here. Still got the heat on a little bit. These potatoes are mashing beautifully, sucking up all that, all that milk that was in there. And now we have this nice hunk of butter inside that we're going to whisk. Okay. This smells amazing. Buttery, garlicky. It looks super velvety. Nice and creamy. And that's almost there, probably another minute or so. So a little bit of salt here. And then we have our white pepper. Gonna do a little pinch, this goes a long way, you don't need much, okay? You can always add more, don't forget that. I'll whisk it again. It's a beautiful potato puree. Really nice and smooth and rich. Let me grab myself a little utensil to taste. All right, I want to go in for seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths because that tastes amazing. Need a tiny, tiny bit more salt. And you have to make this for yourself at home. Super easy. You just seen how quick we did it here. All right, that's a beautiful mashed potato, potato puree, whatever you want to call it, okay? Now we're going to pull out our chicken. I think it's just about ready. Oh yeah, babe, look at this thing. Nice and golden. This is exactly what we were looking for. I'm gonna pop this out and get it on the cutting board. It's gonna be extremely hot. Jeez. All right. So we're gonna serve this up. This is gonna be really easy. Feed a whole family now. So we're gonna come over with our whipped potatoes, okay? Get a nice mound on there. I'm gonna go in for another scoop because I'm gonna go in for seconds anyways. All right, so here we go. It's gonna cut a little bit of breast here. I like to go straight down on that bone right there down the middle and then you can kind of cut into it so you'll get a nice whole piece of breast. Okay, that's pretty hot. Here we go. You have a nice piece of breast here. You can see how nice and golden our uh, skin is. 
This is really nice and juicy too. We're gonna take a leg as well. A little bit of white meat, a little bit of dark meat. Cut right through here. Okay. A little bit of herbs, my favorite. And we have a herb roasted chicken with our garlic roasted mashed potatoes. Make this at home, you're gonna love it. Thanks again for joining us today. We made a beautiful herb roasted chicken and garlic with potatoes. Join us next time on Cooking with Mario. Thanks again for watching today, guys. If you like what you saw today on Cooking with Mario, go ahead and follow us, The Mitt TV, on YouTube. Click on the notification bell and subscribe. I hope to see you again soon on Cooking with Mario.